welcome back to Beyond the Basics, the channel where you can find language tips and methods, especially if you're trying to learn Polish, and you'll get to listen to a struggling American as he slowly, with welcoming pains, climbs the ladder to fluency in the Polish language. But just remember what I said in my previous video, that it's important for us to embrace the struggle. And just to think, one day, you'll be so far along that it's barely a struggle at all to keep up in your language. And you'll be thirsty for a new challenge, and maybe you'll be ready to explore a new language. Who knows? Uh, but for now, at whatever stage you're at, I hope these videos do you some good. Hi, I'm Michael Joyce, and at a very early age, I wanted to learn the Polish language. If you want to know why, I have both a Polish video on it and a video where I go back and forth between English and Polish for your listening comprehension pleasure. Uh, link to those videos below. So my accumulated study time has been a few years, but I'm supercharged and super motivated now to stay true to the promise that I made myself many years ago, and that is to gain a high level in Polish. But I would love for you to take this journey with me, not just as viewers, but friends, as friends, colleagues, uh, and fellow teachers to one another. This month actually marks my first official year back in action. Uh, I had taken almost a 20 year break from the language, something that I'll never do again, uh, because now I'm having just so much more fun with it. And luckily, relearning the basics came faster for me than learning from scratch. Uh, but I'm now encountering different obstacles, obstacles that you yourself are likely encountering um, but here's how it typically goes. After the first few months of learning a language, you quickly get to the point where you can speak common introductions um, and you learn numbers and days of the week and colors, animals, and what have you. Um, but the many various apps, uh, learning software and YouTube videos, they can get you there. Um, and people can sometimes get to this spot without even spending a dime. But where do they go next? Uh, here on this channel, I hope to move us past this, sticking with more common and basic terms, concentrate on comprehension, language pitfalls, especially grammar, um, and methods aimed to develop our ear and our ability to retrieve the words and form sentences um, in the language. Because that's ultimately the goal, right? And like me, if you want to post videos in order to get feedback, mark your progress, and or uh, just to experience speaking, I'll be happy to view and follow your channel as well. So before we go any further, uh, let me take a second to mention, if you like what you hear, please give me a thumbs up. And if you really want to make my day, subscribe to my channel. Um, now that we've gotten that out of the way. Get over there! All right, here we go. So have you ever heard the saying, slow and steady wins the race. Now, obviously this conjures the image of the tortoise and the hare, um, a children's story the world over by now, and logically applied mainly to production and quality rather than uh, an actual sport endeavor. Um, but with language learning, the race is never ending and certainly has its hills and valleys. But for most of us, it's extremely important to simply go at our own pace and not get frustrated at the rabbit that's constantly running around us. Well, that's no ordinary rabbit! The detail, however, that I want you to embolden in your mind is that your stride, your pace, should be directed forward. Your sights directed forward. While it's true that there are many paths that we can take, there is one that is more direct and more helpful for you that'll build your prowess in the language more easily and quickly. And the more we catch on to this, the less frustrated we'll become, the less frustrated, the less likely we're going to give up or spiral into a habit of negative thinking that will undoubtedly stifle your learning progress. One of my big frustrations in Polish, and I have several, um, is when I put a long sentence into Google and it spits out a long string of words, sometimes in a strange order, along with grammatical endings that I'm not yet proficient in, and I think, am I supposed to do all of this in my head? Um, but many of these synonyms, word order choices, etc., at least in the beginning, is the same as picking up skipping stones along the way. 
it's like, yeah, they'll be fun to skip across the pond later, but they're going to weigh you down as you try to get to the first goalpost. So my advice is to bypass this discouraging phase and start with what you can already say. Uh, remember, the goal in the beginning is to be understood. And exercising your courage to speak it, that's it. That's it in the beginning. And believe me, I need to listen to this advice uh, just as much as you sometimes. In order to improve on this myself, I started doing this on a daily basis. I call it the simplified method. In Polish, Popolsku, it is called Metoda Uproszczona. So thanks for watching this short introduction. The next part you will not want to miss. What is coming very soon is the first of three videos that you should implement into your daily practice to supercharge your ability to communicate in the target language. I call this part the daily check-in. Po polsku może to nazywać codzienne księgowanie, or literally daily journaling. And it is more fun than you may think. I hope you'll enjoy it. That's all for now. To tyle na dziś. Rzeczy wszystkim miłego dnia. Till next time. Bye for now. Na razie. Proszę mi puścić, no! Ja! Panowie, to jest jakaś pomyłka! Pomyłka? Moja żona miała na drugie pomyłkę.